Chapter 8. X marks the what? On Thursday, a few days after he'd first discovered the Dark Knight's existence, Carlos was running across campus as fast as he could, almost as if he were still scared of dogs and had a pack of them chasing him. His teammates go on the turning field, watched him run, and cheered him on. Go, Carlos! they yelled, thinking he was practicing for Saturday's game. When he finally arrived at the girls' dormitory and made it up to Mal in Amy's room, he threw himself at the door only to find it already open. Or op op find it open already. He tripped and fell, crashing hard on the floor, just barely able to save his laptop from hitting the ground. Carlos, Amy said as she and Mal helped him up. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, he said, getting to his feet. I found something. On the dark net? asked Evie. Yes. Where else? He sat on Mal's bed, which now had a purple coverlet over the white frills, and opened up his laptop to show them. It's not good. Well, if it's on the dark net, we didn't think it would be, said Mal, reasonably enough. Once again, he brought up the black screen filled with green letters and began to move through the open windows, scrolling through the threads until he found what he was looking for. Got it he said. Here, what am I looking at exactly, said Evie, squinting. It's a forum. People go online and post things anonymously, mostly um, complaining about things, being mean. You know, what a troll is, right? Yes, but I didn't think they could type, said Evie doubtly, doubtfully. No, not a big goblin, like a person on the internet who only says nasty things about people, Carlos explained. Nasty things? Evie blanched. Who would do that? She had lived in Oridon too long now. She wasn't used to malice anymore. It's the dark net. The villain online underground. What do you think they'd post? He pointed out. Puppies? Mouse said sarcastically. Carlos looked ill. I was digging around and found this forum about something called the anti-heroes movement, he said. Mal curled her lips. Anti-heroes? I don't like the sound of that. You shouldn't, said Carlos, because look at this. He typed in a few keystrokes, and a colorful picture filled the screen. That's us, cried Evie. It was a photo of the four of them, and there was a huge red X on all their faces, along with the words, Join the Anti-Heroes Club Today, scrawled in spiky red letters. Anti-heroes? So they're anti-us? Are we the heroes? asked Evie. And the club is organized against us? Looks like it, said Carlos grimly. My guess is that the anti-heroes movement is a revolutionary group founded on the Isle of the Lost for the single goal of eradicating or Oradon's heroes. They're using the dark net to draw members and posting incendiary pictures of us to fire up hostile sentiment. To the villains on the island, we're basically traitors. They're using what happened at the coronation to gather numbers on their side. And when they're ready, they'll come for Oregon. The room went silent at Carlos's words. But, um, it's just a theory, said Carlos, to try to lighten up the vibe. What's that? asked Mal, pointing to the small type underneath each picture. Hashtag Antiheroes Unite. Hashtag IRL. Hashtag Call. Hashtag... Ya ya Ruddus Hashtag two three five nine Hashtag be there. I was about to get to that, said Carlos. I cracked the code. I think it's a meeting invitation. IRL is short for in real life, which means it's taking place in the real world, not the online world. Call was harder, but I think it's the location. C A W asked Amy. But that's the castle across the way. Your house, yep, said Carlos. It looks like that's where it's being held. But what's Yadratus, said Mal, frowning as she tried to pronounce the strange word. That one took me a while, but after staring at the word for an hour, I realized there was something familiar about it. It's Saturday spelled backward, and 2359 is 2359 in nighttime or 11.59 at night in royal time. 
So just before midnight this Saturday, there will be an anti-heroes meeting at the castle across the way. Be there is obvious. They're telling their members to be there, you think? T. Stevie. Saturday night, right before midnight. Hold on, said Mel. She grabbed a book from behind her desk. It's a moon calendar. I was using it to try to figure out what the notes were saying about the moon. Look at this. The end of the old moon, or moon set, is on Friday before midnight, and the new moon rises on Saturday at 11.59. The young moon is Sunday, which is too late. I think the notes are connected to this anti-heroes club. Someone wants us to go to this meeting. So we were right, said Evie. Evil Queen, Jafar, Corella, and Maleficent are behind it somehow. Mal said her mom goes by moon dates. You guys really think it's them? asked Carlos quietly. He had gone a bit pale again, thinking of having to face his mother. He wouldn't be able to hide behind a computer or an invention this time, and he truly wasn't looking forward to going back to being her much malin malign personal servant. He was just starting to enjoy a life that didn't revolve around fluffing furs and fixing wigs. Yeah, they must have sent those messages to us to go back to the island so they can humiliate us at this anti-heroes thing, don't you think, said Evie. I love how they're using our bad example to recruit members while also telling us to go back and join them, said Mal. That sounds exactly like something they would do, said Carlos. They probably have something awful planned for our homecoming. He shivered at the thought. Plus, who else would be planning a meeting in Evil Queen's castle? said Mal. It has to be them. True, and the evil queen probably took Maleficent's spot the second she swooped off the island, said Carlos thoughtfully. You know, they fought over who would get to lead the I Isle of the Lost when they were first banished there. They sure did, said Evie, and that's why we were exiled to the castle across the way. Actually, you didn't invite me to your birthday party, and that's why you guys had to move, reminded Mal. I was only six years old. That wasn't my fault, Evie protested, and you almost let me fall asleep for a thousand years. What's past is past. Let bygones be bygone, bygones, said Jay, entering the room. What else did I miss? Mal nodded. Jay's right. Sorry, Evie. I'm sorry, too, said Evie. She stared at the screen again, at the giant red X's written across their faces. Ugh. Red did not look good on her complexion. <sighs> Carlos brought Jay up to speed on what they discovered so far about the anti-heroes group on the dark net. They looked at the picture again. We need to be at that meeting so we can find out what they're planning. And that way we can stop it like we did last time, Mal said, a serious look on her face. Fine, let's go. I'll start packing, said Carlos who was dreading it but wanted to get it over as quickly as possible, like ripping off a band-aid. It would be easier to confront his mother sooner rather than later, before he had a change of heart. Hold on, said Jay. Not so fast. Let's think it through. You know what fairy godmother always says. Don't run in glass slippers, joked Evie. Look before you leap. The slow turtle always wins the race, says, said Jay. Oh, and it's always best to be home before midnight.